luncheon specials are up on the board, gentlemen. Ann Jenkins is a force. Professor Lou, you are coming. Hi, sweetheart. Since 1991, voila, she's owned Annie's Clark Brunch. Hence the name. There you go. <laughs> and with her daughter, Megan, runs the little breakfast and lunch place on the edge of Clark University. She bought the restaurant on my birthday, my 13th birthday, so it was my present to work here for the rest of my life. Ann says just about everyone comes here. They do, if they can find a packing spot. You really can't get a better meal at a better price than here at Annie's. Annie's is a center point of the local community. But recently, Ann learned she is going to have to spend at least $50,000 to bring her kitchen, grill, and fire system up to code. Well, I cried. <laughs> when a three egg omelet with toast and home fries costs four seventy-five, dollars and a cup of coffee with two refills goes for a buck, Annie doesn't have that kind of money. Yes. But then, something extraordinary happened. All those people who hung out at Annie's, who found a welcome and a kind word. You can do it, Pop. Former and current Clark students and staff, as well as people from the Maine South neighborhood, decided to say thank you. It is amazing how many people are remembering. This place is a second home for me, but that's, I'm not unique. It's a second home for everyone. Casey Starr started a funding page. People have responded from around the world. Old Clark students, we've gotten responses from India, from England, from Thailand. And from right around the corner, including the offer of an interest-free loan from the university, which owns the building. Annie has given of herself and taken care of students for so many years. Now it's a chance for them to give back and show her their love and their gratitude. It's remarkable, remarkable. I am tearing up. I've been doing that a lot lately. <laughs> so much love is being given to my mother, and it's so amazing to me because she really has given so much of herself over all these years. How do you thank people? And I say that to them all the time, and you know what they say? Get your butt back here and work. Get back out front and start cooking. You're always happy when you walk out that door. There's, there's no reason not to be. Oh.